Hi everyone, this is Vero from Choose to Be. Today we're going to be doing a side plank with a hip raise. So modify the first round, especially if you're warming up with this, or just go straight ahead with straight leg on your first round. So here we go, let's get started. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Let's bend our leg, nice straight line, head is aligned. Engage through the left, lift the hips high. If you want, let's just keep our hands here on our hips. We're gonna go up and down. There you go. So feeling your core. Don't release at the bottom. Little break, switching side. Again, I like spreading my finger wide, putting my full hand on the ground. Some ac action is happening behind, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> Okay, straight leg. Okay, here we go. Up and down. So if this is too much for you, go back with the straight leg, sorry, the bent leg variation. Keep your head aligned. Little break. One thing that I see lots of people having difficulty with side plank is upper body strength. A lot of people have lots of pain in their shoulder and neck. If that's the case, pick the bent leg variation until your upper body is stronger. Because we want to be sure we're feeling this inner obliques, inner core. And if you're just feeling this in the upper, like in the shoulder and the neck, it's not Okay, here we go, up and down. Even with bent leg, you can just focus on really big range of motion, good alignment, adding the breath to it, adding ease to it, a smile. Nice, doesn't have to be hard to be effective. Here we go, started. Okay, for the last round on each side, I'm gonna go with straight arm. Um, if you have any injury in your shoulder, might not be good for you, but that can also be done with bent leg like this. And making sure the shoulder is directly above the wrist, finger pointed away from the body. And what that will give you, it's a greater range of motion. Woohoo! There you go. If balance is a challenge here, place the top leg in front. Some people that have a problem with their elbow and don't want to be on their forearms, that's a great alternative. It's a little bit harder though, let's be honest. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna place my top leg in front, make it a little bit easier on me. Here we go, up and down. Nice big range of motion. Again, even here, I'm keeping my belly in, rib cage in, nice core engagement. Nice. That was it. One more time, you did it. So see you soon. Hope you enjoy.